What's up y'all, Mitch here with another Logic tutorial. This tutorial is going to be over Auto-Tune. Uh, you can get Auto-Tune from a specific plugin inside of Logic. Um, very nice, very helpful, and it's free, and it sounds pretty decent too, so... Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so check it out. This is an audio clip of a song that one of my previous bands had recorded. And this track already has uh, some reverb and some delay on it. It's just a stem. So, um, turns out it's not really going to matter. Uh, you're still going to be able to tell that there's going to be auto-tune on it. Which is sweet, because um, if you are remixing a track and you are importing stems, and you want to be like, hey, this would be cool to have um, some auto-tune on this voice, instead of just it being a regular, you know, regular sung song. So you can add auto-tune on top of reverb and delay if you like, and it sounds decent. just depends, honestly. So, um... I'm going to play you this track before any auto-tune, so you can have something to compare it to. Alright, here we go. And I need you now, more than ever before. Please sell me somehow, break down this door, and I need you now. Alright, so uh, that is a clip, and without further ado, I'm going to start putting some auto-tune on this bitch. So, um, plugins, uh, pitch, pitch correction, stereo, and you get this beautiful little plugin. Uh, this will be your pitch correction plugin, right? Right. All right. And before we start working um, and getting some auto tune in this, we are going to need to talk about auto tune in general. Okay. To get auto-tune, um, what you're going to need to do <clears throat> is um, find a key of a song because it's going to be snapping these notes to certain keys, to certain, to, to certain notes, that's what I'm trying to say. And you need to find the right key of the song so it snaps it to the right notes. You don't want to be snapping it to a sharp note or a flat note and it's not going to sound right in a song. So number one, you're going to need to find the key of the song whatever it may be and easily enough you can come down here the song is in D major so I'm going to be setting it to D and then major <clears throat> the next thing we need to talk about is uh, response time which is going to be located right down here this this clip has already been um, corrected just a bit so um, there really is no need to um, put any more uh, pitch correction on it um, what we're going to be needing to go for is more of an auto tune, and to get that auto tune, uh, what it what it does essentially is if you have um, one note after the other and a singer sings it, there is going to be a curve. There's going to it, he's going to sing it, and there's going to be a curve up to the next note. This is just naturally what singers do. When we pitch correct it, what we're doing is we're taking out that curve and slamming those two pitches together. So you have a direct one pitch to another pitch. And so what we can do with our response is make that response really, really fast. Actually, we can make there to be no curve at all. So it just jumps from one pitch to the other, which is essentially what auto-tune is. And we can do that here by just bringing the response all the way down. All right, easy enough. That's, that's essentially all you really need to do. Um, pick, getting the key is going to be the hardest part um, if you're not sitting by the band who's actually doing it. Um, and you're remixing, that sometimes might be difficult. So um, I'm going to exit out of that. And uh, you already have auto tune on your track. With that, that's, that's it, that's all you need to do. So I'm just going to play this track over again with some auto tune on it and uh, show you what it sounds like. All right, simple enough. And I need you now more than ever before. Please sell me somehow. Break down this door. And I need you now. Sounds beautiful. Um, part of the reason was because this clip was um, edited and um, bounced and with reverb and pitch correction it sounded it, it sounded great beforehand and that's part of the reason why the end product with uh, some auto tune on it sounds very good 
Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. It was just a quick one. Um, not really too much to talk about. So uh, please comment, rate, subscribe like usual. Um, yeah, till next time.